The introduction of the all-new high heat driver, fairway wood, and hybrid. This is Golf Smarter. Welcome back to the Golf Smarter Podcast, Dean. Thanks, Fred. It's, it's great to be here. It's great to have you here. I'm so glad, you know, we, we were introduced to each other through ING. Um, and uh, you were on the, the podcast a couple months ago. Yeah. And um, uh, apparently our audience has responded to your product. They, they were very impressed. And we've gotten feedback from your listeners that uh, they've never hit their drive so well before. So Is that right? Yeah. Well, you brought, you know, we didn't get a whole lot of chance to, to see no, what you No, you didn't get to see about. anything. But this, so is the, please. this is the high heat driver. All right, let's, I'm going to hold it up to this camera over here. So this is what you're going to look at from the top. And it's probably, there's still some uh, wrapping over. That's so what the reflection what's, is. What's great about this uh, is that the center of gravity is 25% deeper and lower than the major brands mm. because they're pretty much designed for pro golfers. And this is, makes it easier to launch. Uh, it's much straighter than... And the, then the major brands, it's got a higher moment of inertia, meaning it doesn't twist. And then the face is very forgiving because it has seven different layers of thinness so that it's at the USGA's COR limit, now called CT, all over the face. And as you can see, it's... And you uh, know the limits really well, so you can push we those do. limits. Yes, we're pushing the limits. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you kind of set them yourself, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> didn't you yeah. Were you the person who was in charge of No, no, of I wasn't setting. involved in that. <laughs> no, yeah. But... Um, the, the most exciting thing to tell you about today is that we've now come out with our first three wood. And do you want to yeah. show that? Look at this. This is beautiful. Here's the face. It's a low profile. It's four millimeters wider uh, than most others. And the entire face is, is uh, forgiving and, uh, and very hot because all the major brands, they're... Uh, they're uh, face plates and bodies are made out of steel where this is made the titanium face it's a cup face and so it's very forgiving and and it's very hot so you can hit it anywhere in the face you don't have to hit it on the center like you would with a steel face you don't lose 20 yards when you hit it off center right so and now this is our first hybrid and this is the one that was like okay can i you know like if you're gonna let me try anything this is where i'm most excited is i wanted to replace and my hybrid and when you told me that you guys were doing this it's like sign me up and this is also titanium uh cup face on it and if you look on the sole of it mm -hmm. if you uh, show that you can actually see that that the titanium cup face is connected with a steel body and it's by silver brazing, which is a very unique patented technique, uh, which will last at, at tour swing speeds, 1,500 hits or more, and it doesn't break down. So it allows us to have this really hot face that just really goes, and it's easy to hit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so impressive. I hope everyone's getting a good look at this. And if you're listening on the audio podcast, thank you. But check us out on our YouTube channel <laughs> or at golfsmarter.com where you can watch the video and you can see uh, what exactly we're talking about. Now, later this year, we're going to have, besides the three hybrid, we're going to have four, five, six, and even a seven. Oh, really? So, uh, so really, this is, this is very forgiving. Um, and to replace a lot of the clubs that you're just struggling getting in the air, right. you're struggling getting any distance. Yep. And you're struggling keeping it straight. I yeah. mean, all the problems are solved here, it sounds like. Exactly. We, the, the entire goal of the company, Knuth Golf, is to help amateurs play better golf. And so we don't care about pros because they're so good, it doesn't matter what they hit. Right. Pretty much. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that I'm finding interesting about talking to other manufacturers here um, and, and to what you educated me on is the fact that we, you know, so many sales in this industry are based on what is showing up on the tour. And yeah. we really should avoid, you know, using that as our own metric on what we're purchasing. Yeah. I think you, you can see nothing against major brands. I mean, they're doing great service uh, for golf. But yeah. the, the fact that a tour player hits a club really well does not equate to necessarily right. that an amateur is going to hit it great. Right. So, you know, they're, typically their center of gravity is more forward and up. Uh, they've got adjustability, which adds even more weight 
uh, up and forward. It's not really what an amateur needs. Amateurs need deeper and lower center gravity. So, so and again, uh, give us you know, just briefly, for those who didn't hear it last time, uh, your history oh. to explain why you understand this stuff so well and why it's become a passion in your retirement, you know, <laughs> retirement, we put it with air quotes. <laughs> I, I'm a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. Yeah. Uh, the Navy sent me to Naval Postgraduate School. While there, I started working on developing what became the USJ's course rating and slope system. And so I am the Pope of Slope. And so, I and that. I worked on the U.S. Uh, Golf Association staff as a senior director for 16 years. We started the Gin Service uh, Golf Handicap and Information Network, which is in a lot of places. Um, the first, really the first distributed network for being able to send scores in that used to be that you had to mail your, your scores in mm -hmm. and uh, the clubs did. And now you can, you know, it goes on automatically. So uh, it's, it's all been in a career to help uh, amateurs enjoy the game more. And uh, really the thing to do is to, uh, is to help uh, amateurs hit the ball better, straighter, I mean, the, the uh, accuracy on this, uh, it, it, you know, technical word, it's dispersion if you're hitting off center. But uh, this actually has gear effects so it can bring the ball back to center. Uh, whereas when the center of gravity is forward on a major brand, you hit it on the toe, it's going to go right. So... And do, I think what Steve is trying to, to, yeah. to prompt you on is something about the scratched... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. for any for any golfer, any amateur, any amateur, any this amateur is going to improve yeah. improve your distance. It's going to yep. improve your dispersion. It's going to yep. improve your accuracy. Uh, correct. Um, and again, the the key to all this is by moving the center of gravity back and down. Right. And so it helps get you the ball and to end. make the f the face much more forgiving. Mm -hmm. And we've done that the entire line of of clubs now. Right. Is uh, makes it e very easy to launch. Uh, straighter and um, because of deep and low center of gravity, but also a very forgiving face. Well, I, you know, I, I, I personally want to thank the Golf Smarter community for stepping up, um, uh, you know, on making purchases of the high heat clubs and for giving such nice feedback to, yeah. to Dean and Steve. Um, but also, I really want to thank you for, for sharing this information yeah. with us because this isn't the kind of stuff that you're going to find in, in a lot of the major magazines because yeah. their advertising budgets are really dictating who Correct. they're showcasing, it yeah. feels like. Yeah. And um, you guys, you know, yeah. it's, you're, it's not like you're trying to be a huge company. Yeah. We've, uh, we've been compared to we are the best uh, metal woods that nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and yeah. proof is in the pudding. I mean, you're getting yeah. you're getting phenomenal feedback and yeah. it's just it's just great. Yeah. It's just great. Uh, again, the website is Knuth Golf. K-N-U-T-H. Right. K-N-U-T-H golf dot com. Mm -hmm. I'm Dean Knuth and my business partner is Steve Tratner. Okay. If you order, don't fret about sitting there figuring out what you need to order because Steve will always follow up and say, okay, tell me your swing speed, what clubs are you using right now, and it becomes a very easy process to fit you correctly. And so. you've got to get fitted, folks. You've got to get fitted correctly and it, so you can get maximum impact right. and effect on the club. Right. And make sure that when you're talking to Steve and you're calling in, you're, you're, <laughs> you're finding out more, make sure that he knows that you're a Golf Smarter listener because he's going to give you a little more yeah. love than you're expecting. I promise yeah. you that. I'm impressed with the technical competence of the golfers that listen to you. What does yeah. that mean? What do you mean? I, I think that they are people that really care about technical aspects of the game. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, it's, it's hard, it's hard to give you the, the technical detail in a magazine, but when you have a podcast with that concept, I think that you can go into much greater detail than you can in almost any other, uh, even television. You can't do it on television because it costs too much, hmm. you know, to be on the air. Where you can do a podcast and really do, your interview with me um, was over an hour long. Mm -hmm. And where would you ever get that kind of detail? Now, not that you want to listen for an hour, <laughs> but it's pretty incredible. Please. Please listen for an hour. <laughs> <laughs>
Sure, sure, Steve. I just want to tell you, because I'm the one who gets the emails from customers. Right, right. And of course, when they say, how'd you hear about us? And they mention Golf Smarter, they, of course, they get a savings that we've given to your listeners. But what the difference is that when they answer my questions, they often, often volunteer other information. By the way, I just want you to know this. By the way, I want you to know this, just so they can make sure that I see everything you know, about their, their backgrounds. And, and so we have a very, they're, they're terrific golfers. They write back and they thank us oh, for, for it. So we very appreciate it. Well, these are all my friends. <laughs> hand selected friends. Oftentimes we get responses say, here's what it's 250, 270, 70 miles an hour, thank you very much. But almost all of your listeners always give us more than you when I ask, and I and, and I appreciate it. And I can do a better job. Well, thank you. Well, wow, very nice. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. Um, I'm really excited to, uh, to, you know, to be able to showcase this and to, to partner with you guys on this. I'm yeah. just, I'm just honored. And thanks for being there. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.